Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is your brother Abel here with another word. The title to this one's called Eternal Comfort. And I be 2 Corinthians 1 3 4. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God in Corinth, together with all his holy people throughout our chair. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Amplified. Paul, an apostle, special messenger, personally chosen representative of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God, which is at Corinth, and to all the saints, God's people, throughout Achaia, southern Greece, grace to you and peace, inner calm, and spiritual well-being from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, blessed, gratefully praised, and adored, be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts and encourages us in every trouble so that we will be able to comfort and encourage those who are in any kind of trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Psalm one nineteen seventy six. May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Often shortly after you have been through a harrowing situation in life and have found comfort, you meet someone who has to handle a similar situation. It is God who leads us to these people because the comfort that we offer is sincere and they know that we have wrestled with a similar experience ourselves. In this letter, Paul praises God for using the church of Corinth to give them the same comfort God has given us. What would it take for you to proclaim God as your help and deliverer? What would it take for you to look to God alone for the solution to your problems when you find yourself or an acquaintance in a difficult situation? Approach his throne of grace and prayer. Declare boldly to God that you trust in him alone to deliver you in prayer and with gratitude consider all the ways in which god has comforted you in times of affliction and tell god that you are willing to let him use you to bring comfort to others gracious god thank you for the comfort you granted me so undeservedly use me to comfort others in turn in christ the heart of the father is revealed and higher comfort there cannot be than to rest in the Father's heart. Love and Shalom.